Hey, hey, my name is James Bland, and I'm an actor in the film. I play Maurice. Hi, Marissa Tomei, I play Miriam. I am Marco Pigossi, and I play Lorenzo on the film. Hi, I'm Marco Calvani, I'm the writer-director of High Tide. High Tide is a film that follows the story of two uh, young men who happen to be gay, and it's the story of their encounter. Uh, one is an American, uh, African-American man, and the other one is a Latino immigrant. And they meet and explore themselves in Provincetown, Massachusetts. Uh, the inspiration for the story is so many things. It's very hard to exactly pinpoint the thing that made me write this thing. I can say, though, that it was at a very specific time in history, which was during the pandemic. And um, I think in that kind of suspended time and space, I, was, I allowed myself to rethink things in a different way. And uh, I always work on, on heavy subjects like uh, wars or immigration, abuse, very political subjects in my work, especially in theater. And this time I really wanted to go softer and still uh, taking care of what's relevant currently in the world, but I felt the need and the urgency to to write something that it was more of a celebration of, a, of love and acceptance and belonging. And so I ended up writing not just um, a romance, but a queer romance, which is actually the first time that I wrote. I've been a free gay man all my life, but I, this is my, the first time that I really put gay characters at the center of my story. And uh, it just, I, I came to realize only after I finished the movie that what I really was doing was to uh, came, come into terms with my own homosexuality, um, which I've always lived in a very rebellious way, and there was no room left after a while for uh, the space that it's kind and uh, uh, generous. And, and you know, all values that actually are not really very much promoted in our culture and societies, and not even in the gay community. I ended up healing from my own internalized homophobia in the end, which I, you know, I, I <laughs> having been raised, born and raised in a very Catholic country and family, uh, it was about time, I would say. <laughs> so Lorenzo, is, he, he's in this moment of life that you can't go back, but you don't know exactly where you're going, where you're going to go, and and he finds himself in this limbo, um, trying to run away from a homophobic homophobic family, very conservative, and trying to find himself and trying to find a country to go to call home, trying to find a place to call home, and he's in this limbo um, without knowing where he belongs or where he's going to go, and he finds Maurice. And for three days that the, the, the story goes, they find that they kind of belong to each other. They find that sense of belonging in each other. They're both um, outsiders in that sense, you know, in that society as an immigrant, him as an uh, African-American. And they bond and they find this, this intimacy that they couldn't find. So, so I'm fascinated about this character. I've been with this script for two years. I was the, I'm the luckiest actor in the world, <laughs> working with Marco and talking about the character and exploring and trying and finding, you know, specificities, Brazilianness on it, in it. And so when I went to set, I knew him inside out. I knew that character so well mm -hmm. for being with that for two years. So it was a beautiful experience as an actor that not always you get to have, you know, in that sense. Yeah, for sure. So uh, Maurice is, uh, he's a nurse. Uh, he's uh, from Queens and he's just on holiday with a group of his friends. Uh, and he's really just looking to have a good time before he goes away. Um, and I think for Maurice, he is looking for, he's, he's looking to return home. You know, oftentimes as African Americans, we feel as if although we were born here, you know, in America and raised here, that there's another home that we often get the opportunity to return to, and that is Africa. And so he's going to Angola to kind of start a new life. Uh, and when he meets Lorenzo, they're able to connect and really identify in each other that search of just looking for home and belonging. Uh, and I think he brings something to Lorenzo in terms of his search of uh, and trying to grieve and get over this loss of this uh, this ex-boyfriend. And they 
just find intimacy in each other. Uh, Miriam is a painter, uh, an artist, and she, uh, well, I wanted to do the movie because Marco was directing <laughs> it, and I trust him. He's one of my closest, if not clo the closest collaborator in art, and uh, in life we're pretty close. <laughs> we're, um, and I'm so lucky that I have found this group to be with and to, and to be directed by him is a, is a dream and a pleasure. Um, and it's, he, I just love the role as soon as I saw her on the page. It's kind of an alternate fantasy of wish, what I wish I, I would just be a painter on a, <laughs> on a, in a beautiful, serene place and have kind of a little bit of a different kind of life. Um, and she's very centered and very, uh, she's, she's a little bit, um, not, not like a hands-on guide or anything like that, but she has crossed over from a place where she wasn't as happy in her personal relationship. She was married, and that marriage didn't feel, it just, it just changed. And she, then she met the love of her life, and she started painting differently, and her life became alive. And in a certain way, it's like just that little bit down the road that, that maybe his character could see through taking a few little risks where, where he might be able to go, that's going to be okay. When you have when life altering giant circumstances where you make these big changes and it's scary, but then there was this beauty on the other side of that. Uh, as I said, you know, I, I really wanted to um, paint a story about um, about connection and intimacy and love and. Uh, I, of course, I place uh, at the very core a romance, but it became clear to me uh, at some point that everybody uh, was somehow um, in either either in search of love or trying to heal from a lost love, mm. or, or 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 still grieving from, for and hoping for someone to return. So, and isn't love the reason why we're all here? Not I mean here on this couch, but here on this world, <laughs> right? And I and I believe that it's just uh, these are. Um, uh, uh, there are values that we are not they're not really celebrated as much in our um, in our world in our culture and I, I feel that I, I really needed to portray all all the possible um, um, how do you say in English? Uh, in, 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 Iterations of love, you know, and uh, and I think uh, only in a place like Provincetown, actually, which is also already a loving place by by, by definition, I was able to draw all put all these characters together, and 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 sew them together. You know, Provincetown is such a magical place where it's it's um uh, that you feel this um you feel safe some, for some f it, it's just filled with um the community is very strong and it's filled with acceptance at its core it has its fault it's still a place that you know belongs to america so uh, but it, but it has uh, it's it, for example it's a place where homosexuality is not questioned um we are definitely the majority there it is it is a given and uh, it's a gift too, and I believe also the film embodies that. And, and by doing so, it goes beyond even the gayness. You know, it becomes a universal story uh, if you take it for granted. You know, the, the, the characters, despite being in a moment in time where they're struggling with some uh, emotional turmoil, they don't question their homosexuality. It's uh, it's there. That's that, that's who they are. They love the way they are, they are, 